You got a fast car I want a ticket to anywhere Maybe we can make a deal Maybe together we can get somewhere Any place is better Starting from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we'll make something Me, myself, I got nothing to prove You got a fast car I got a plan to get us out of here Been working at a convenience store Managed to save just a little bit of money Won't have to drive too far Just cross the border and into the city You and I can both get jobs Finally see what it means to be living See, my old man's got a problem he live with a bottle, it's the way it is His body's too old for working His body's too young to look like his Mama went off and left him She wanted more for life than he could give I said, someone's gotta take care of him So I quit school and that's what I did You got a fast car Is it fast enough so we can fly away? You gotta make a decision Leave tonight or didn't die this way So I remember when we were driving Driving in your car Speed so fast I felt like I was drunk City lights lay out before us And your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I had, had a feeling that I belong I had, had a feeling I could be someone Be someone, be someone You got a fast car We go cruising, entertain ourselves Still ain't got a job Work at the market as a checkout girl I know things will get better You will find work and I'll get promoted We'll move out of the shelter Buy a bigger house and live in the suburbs So remember when we were driving, driving in your car Speed so fast I felt like I was drunk City lights lay out before us and your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I had, had a feeling that I belonged I had, had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone You got a fast car I got a job that pays all our bills Stay out drinking late at the bar See more of your friends than you do of your kids I'd always hoped for better Thought maybe you and I would find it together No plans, I ain't going nowhere So take your fast car and keep on driving So remember when we were driving, driving in your car Speed so fast I felt like I was drunk City lights lay out before us and your arm felt nice wrapped around my shoulder And I had, had a feeling that I belonged I had, had a feeling I could be someone, be someone, be someone You got a fast car Is it fast enough for you to fly away? You gotta make a decision Leave tonight or live and die this way
Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate that. Woo hoo. Woo Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, how does it feel to be living the dream? When Taryn asked me to do a homily about what happens after a dream deferred, I was reminded of something someone asked me last November, shortly after my band Hardison's played a show at City Winery. I was telling them about the experience and sharing photos of us on stage, and they said to me, how does it feel to be living the dream? I was a little surprised at the question. After all, the life I'm living now is nothing like the original dream I had as a teenager. Coming of age in the early 80s, back when MTV still played music videos. <laughs> and some of you are probably too young to remember that. <laughs> Around the age of 16, I aspired to be a famous singer-songwriter and killer guitar player, or at the very least, make a living as a musician. By the time I was 18, I had it all planned out. Graduate from high school, move out to Los Angeles to attend the Guitar Institute of Technology at Musicians Institute, where I would eat, drink, and sleep guitar for a year, graduate and join a band, land a lucrative recording contract, <laughs> and become a world-renowned bona fide rock star. Easy peasy, right? <laughs> I even had a foolproof backup plan in case my original plans didn't pan out. If I didn't have a recording contract by the age of 28, I was going to pack up and move to London just like my hero, Chrissy Hine of the Pretenders, did back in the early 70s. <laughs> London was really hot at that time, and I was sure I'd be able to break into the music business there. Hmm, <laughs> best late plans. Well, long story short, I made it as far as being accepted to that guitar school in LA, but decided against going on the sage advice of my mother. My mama, was nothing if not pragmatic. In a nutshell, her words of wisdom that she imparted upon me amounted to, just because you can, doesn't mean you should. <laughs> In hindsight, she couldn't have been more right. For so many reasons, had I not heeded her wise words, I might not be standing here today. So what happened to that lofty dream? Well, I, got, I, I let go of a, that version of the dream, the one conjured by that young, naive, ex-military brat who was so in love with music that they couldn't imagine living without it. Letting go of those rigid plans made space in my life for so much more than I could have imagined. The desire to continue making music has figured heavily into every major life decision I've made throughout my adult life. When I decided to attend college in my late 20s, I sang in the GSU choral and jazz ensembles and took classical guitar lessons as electives. In my early 30s, I continued to meet and collaborate on projects with local musicians, recording and playing gigs around the Atlanta area, while finishing degrees in sociology and information technology. To pay the bills, I sought employment in administrative type positions that would afford the flexibility for me to work regular hours and play music in the evenings. In my late 30s, I made the most important decision of all, to become a member of this beloved community. UUCA is where I found my voice, figuratively and literally. Thanks to the many opportunities afforded to me through the music ministry, including the formation of Shades of Grey, the Love Supremes, 
singing in the Phoenix Choir, recording the Let It Shine CD, the UUCA Supergroup, choir trips to Eastern Europe and India, and what amounts to thousands of dollars worth of free voice lessons patiently delivered to the choir each week by Don Milton III. <laughs> So, am I living the dream? Well, I believe the answer is yes. And all of you have been and continue to be a part of it. UUCA has helped me to realize a different but much more satisfying version of my original dream. Maybe I don't have millions of dollars and houses all over the world, but out there, with my Hardison's family, and here with you, my UUCA family, I am a musician, a rocker, and a performer. I am happy and ever grateful to say that my dream lives on, crusted and sugared over like a syrupy sweet. <laughs> 